This is the real Tom Rose, and this is the type of problem that seems really hard at first blush. And whenever I get a problem like this, what I like to do is simply just try a couple of combinations. And hopefully when we start plugging in, what we'll see is there's, oh, there's a pretty reasonable pattern, and we can just sort of twist it a little bit and figure it out. Um, so to start out on this, what I want to know is how many roughly are we talking about? So I want to take what's the highest um, set of three consecutive integers that I can multiply to get 1,500. Now, rather than doing a lot of trial and error, I'm going to get a lot closer to it by just doing the cube root of 1,500. Now, this isn't going to be a legal answer. This is 11.44. But I know that the numbers at the top end that I'm going to be multiplying by one another are somewhere in the ballpark of 11. So let's try going below. Let's try 10 times 11 times 12 and see what that gives me. So 10 times 11 times 12 is... 1320. Uh, that's below 1500, so let's go up one. Let's do 11 times 12 times 13. That equals 1716. Now that one is too big, so it's out. Well, now we've got ourselves a pattern. I'm going to put this down here as if it's at the bottom of a list, and we can start out at the top. And I know if I do um, 1 times 2 times 3, I'm going to get 6, so that one's in the list. And the question is really, how many are between the 6 and the 13, 20? Well, there's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If we do all the rows, right? This will be 2 times 3 times 4. I'm not going to write them all out, but you can fill in the, the gap. And we can count these. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 sets of numbers which will do it. And the answer is 10.